Today, we're going to be looking at Perplexity Spaces, which is a brand new feature just announced a few hours ago. As you can see, it is an absolute game changer when it comes to AI and SEO. And I'll show you why and explain how you can use it in a minute. And additionally, I'll show you how you can rank with it. Now, this new feature has some really cool stuff, including connecting to the internet, uploading personalized files to you, and combining both plus ranking that content, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And bear in mind, Perplexity AI is one of the leading case studies when it comes to AI. They've got 3.4 million traffic. You can see they started out at pretty much nothing last year. And the traffic after every single Google update that comes along seems to perform better and better. So I'm going to be breaking down exactly how you can use Spaces. There's a free version and a paid version. I'll show you what the difference is in a minute. Let's get straight into it. So the way that you can use this is if you go log in to Perplexity and then go to Spaces, as you can see. And from here, you can create a new space. So, for example, let's say we are going to call this AICO content creation. And we'll call this free AICO tool. You can even add a cheeky emoji in there if you want to. So let's pop that in because YOLO. And then from here, you can also choose a model. Now, this is super useful as well because you can actually connect Claude to the Internet, which is my favorite writing tool so far. And you can use this to create content. But unlike the paid version, where, you know, if you go to Claude in the professional plan, you can't connect this to the internet. Whereas with what I'm about to show you, number one, you can connect this to the internet, which is going to lead to better research, as I'll show you in a minute, and content creation. But additionally, it's going to be super useful because, because you can reverse engineer what's already ranking live on the web. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So from here, we can also plug in some custom instructions. So what I'm actually going to do, and if you've got any custom GPTs, you can do this too is I'm going to take the instructions from a custom GPT I've already built and then plug this directly into the custom instructions down here. Now you can see that it does have a limited character count. So if you're in the same situation, what I'll do is I'm just going to ask ChatGPT reduce this by 1400 characters. Then it's going to give me a shortened version that I can use for perplexity, which is super useful because we don't have to mess around editing it ourselves. So we're going to go in here, plug that in. And now you can see what we've done is we've broken this tool down. So what you can see here is we've broken this down into three separate prompts. I'm going to select the model as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. We'll just call the tool SEO for now, but you can call that something related to the topic that you want to rank for. And then we're going to hit continue. Right now we've got our tool ready to go. So let's click on that inside Plexi Spaces. So you've got the space section right here. And the cool thing about this is if you're on the paid plan, you can choose between secret and share. And you can also add contributors. So you can invite your team or whoever's working with you on SEO directly to this collaboration space. So you can see here, you can select between web and files. You can actually upload files that are custom built to you, custom tailored to your industry and your brand, so that the content you create from AI is much more unique to you, who you are, your brand, etc., which is going to separate your content from everyone else's on the web because it's personalized to your brand. So as an example of that, what I can actually do is I can take a, for example, book as a PDF that I've previously written. So if we go to files over here, then we're going to upload a file. Yeah, and I think you can actually add quite a lot of information here, which is pretty good. So it's got a lot of leeway for using reference files and knowledge. And there we go. Go, we've got the file uploaded. Bear in mind, you can add like multiple files. Seems super easy and useful to use. You can also remove and download them later if you need to. And now we've done that, we can actually select the sources this model uses to create content or to rank of SEO. So we can select web and files, as you can see right here. And if we hit get started based on the custom that I've inserted, it's reading the files you can see. And then inside here, we can say, right, keyword equals, give me a list of available web data. And then based on what's already ranking on the first page of Google, he's going to come back to you with the data that you need, which is super easy. So for example, you've got the entities and eyes right here. And then you can see that it's actually reverse engineered what's already ranking. And then it's also given us a recommended word count. Now, that was just an example. And what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to upload a document with personalized information about me. So it's got details of, for example, like my sitemap, information about who I am, et cetera, like that. And we're going to use that to create the content. So if I go in here and I'm like, right, keyword equals SEO training in Japan. What it's going to do is it's going to do a pro search for relevant entities, LSIs, keywords, et cetera, related to my niche, right? So if I'm ranking for this keyword, it's already looked at relevant external URLs and also compared to pages. Now, I know this is not BS because, for example, you can see the step-by-step -step process here. So it's searching for relevant keywords, SEO training in Japan, SEO course in Japan, 
And then it's reading my actual content, right? So it's looked at who's ranking for that keyword, like you can see with my page right here, search through that content and then found relevant LSIs. You can see from there, we've actually got a relevant list of those based on our topic. And it's given us an average word count recommended for what we're trying to rank for. On top of that, because of the prompt we put in earlier, it's also researched relevant information to Japan, relevant external links that we can insert inside the content and relevant case studies with sources, as you can see right here, which we can use inside our content to make it more unique and well-referenced. Now that not only does the job of an SEO outline tool, but it also goes far beyond because now you're finding relevant stats and case studies to insert. You, you've actually got really unique research that you can include inside the content as well. And you've also got the entities and LSIs, which most SEO tools would do. And it's been very specific on the word count that you want to aim for. The one thing that I would always do with any AI model, because I know how much they can hallucinate, is always just double check the list of external links, which you can see right here. You can also remove any competitor external links from the page that you're going to create in a second. But you can see here how easy it is to automate the research for external links how easy it is to actually find relevant stats and information as you can see and also how to get really relevant information to me now bear in mind this tool right here actually has the source context from my brand my research etc because i've attached that inside the space so now we've got all the information and data required to write a really well researched piece of content that's unique from everything else out there and it's not just generic trash and now you can see it's actually written the content firsthand as myself right so it's broken down the search engine market share in Japan, which is actually not hallucinated. So you can see, for example, here, it's got the search engine breakdown, like Google 75%. If we go onto Google and just double check that actually isn't hallucinated, you can see here, this is based on actual data and research, right? And that's the power of complexity and connecting Claude to the internet, because now your content is actually a lot more authoritative. It's got facts, it's got case studies in there. It's avoided the hallucinations that AI normally does. And you can see throughout the content as well, it's written it firsthand to my brand. It's included the relevant entities and keywords throughout the content. And it's also recommended me throughout. Now, what I've also asked it to do is include some CTAs to the program that I'm trying to sell within the content so that actually converts as well. So you can see here, it links externally to my page that sells the actual program throughout the content and it's tailored everything to me. Right? So for example, like ready to see similar results for your business, join the SEO Elite Circle and throughout the content is subtly selling us as well. Now. Bear in mind, this has just come out like a few hours ago. So this is like first attempt to actually create something useful, but you can see how powerful it is. It's got the research, it's got the personalization, it's got the stats, it's got the external links. It's included the FAQs, entities, and LSIs. And it's just super powerful because you can go back and forth with this. This is not like your traditional sort of SEO content tool where, you know, you get a list of LSIs and then create the content. And then also if you want to generate more content, you can actually click on these and then generate it like that way as well. Now, additionally, you can also search for videos and find relevant videos throughout the content and images too. It can even generate images for you. So you can select, for example, painting, photograph, illustration, and you can easily create an article that actually ranks with SEO, but in a much more automated way. Now, some people watching this will be like, okay, does that actually work? Does AI actually rank, etc." You can see here, if we look for that keyword that we were talking about previously, you can see I've got the feature snippet there. We've got another article ranking right there and another one ranking right there. Right? This method works and it dominates if you have the right strategies. Now, this is a very experimental approach, so I'm not going to tell you, like, go off and start using this for your website. But I do think it's got a lot of power to it. And bear in mind, if you just tweak this day after day and just made the perplexity space that you've created better and better over time, it's going to be extremely powerful. Like, that's just the first attempt and it looks really good. Now, what you can also do is you can share this with your team make this shareable, etc. And additionally, here's what, something that's super powerful is you can actually convert this to a web page, right? So there's two ways you can rank with Lexi Spaces. You can convert this to a web page and actually publish it, which you can see right here it actually converts all the research you've done into a blog post, which you can then rank on Google. And you can see on this page, it basically does all the selling for you, all the writing for you, etc. Creates like a really nice page. If you want to edit any of the titles, you just click on edit and then edit it like that or rewrite it, etc. And you can also rewrite the whole section, right? So if you change the title, it'll rewrite the whole section as well. You can insert new sections, add media. There's a lot of power to doing this, right? And then from here, what you can do is you can either publish the content. So you can publish the content and then get it indexed that way. And the actual perplexity page will rank on Google. Bear in mind, this is a premium feature. So you do have to pay for this. 
Or the other option is that you could actually just take the content, post it onto your site and then rank that way as well, right? So there's two different options there. Rank by publishing the page from Perplexity Spaces or create the content from Perplexity Spaces and then insert that onto your website. And obviously you want to fine tune it and edit it, fact check it, etc before you publish your content. You can see how easy this is. If there's anything you don't like, for example, like let's say you want to add media inside the cover image, you can just click on add media right there. Generate an image with AI. Super simple and easy as you can see. Now at this point you might say, okay, does Perplexity Pages actually rank like the pages that you publish from Perplexity Space? You can actually see the Perplexity Page is generating 76,000 SEO traffic, right? And ranking for 40,000 keywords. So this content can rank. For example, if we look uh, perplexity pages and we look at the content that's been indexed over the past week we can see that this content actually ranks like for example this page right here even in the seo space like how ai search engines are changing the game that content is ranking this page has already generated 100 views in the last seven days you can see this page as well and it's not always the same author like for example this author right here created a page six days ago it's already generated 43,000 views it's had 2,000 follow-up questions asked that's the other thing. People can interact with your page, right? So for example, if people land on your page right here, there'll be a bunch of FAQs that they can just click on and then get more information on. Same for this page as well. Again, different author. And again, in one single day, this has generated 1,700 views. So the content indexes, it ranks pretty quickly. Perplexity Pages itself as a subdirectory on the website gets 77,000 traffic. And it's so easy to create SEO optimized content using that process I've shown you today, step by step. Again, you do want a quality control before you publish your content you can see if it is. Now, some people say, oh, what are the main use cases of this? You know, why is Perplexity Pages is so different? Well, number one, you can create your own content tool that's personalized to your brand and what's already ranking and even include and upload information, for example, like your sitemap. That means your internal links on the content you create will be customized to the sitemap that you already have. So you basically automate your internal links and external links. You can also reverse engineer your competitors because you can connect Claude to the internet, then give it prompts to reverse engineer what's in ranking, what's a recommended word count, what LSIs and entities should you include. Additionally, you can search the web, which is super useful for just research in general. You can connect Claude or any sort of AI model to the internet, which you can't do directly with Claude. You can create blog posts and content for your site, or you can publish them directly on Plexi pages like this, and you can edit the content and customize it as much as you want. You can insert new sections if you want to, and everything is source-based, right? So to avoid hallucinations, you can see how it's got sources for each section. Now, I still would recommend that you double check this. You can see how easy and powerful that is. And finally, of course, if you create content and then rank it on Plexi pages, well, you're leveraging a website that's already got a ton of backlinks, right? DR81 website, you can create content directly on there and publish it and then rank it. And you leverage the authority of that website to get more traffic to your funnels. So what I've actually done is I've turned the information from today into a simple step-by-step -step guide so that if you want to follow everything that I've done today and create your own SEO tools that actually rank, feel free to check that SAP out along with the prompt example of what I used today to create very personalized information as you can see. And additionally, if you want 200 ChatGPT AI SEO prompts, I've included a link to that. Now, if you want to get free access to the prompts from today and all the workflows, what I'm going to do is I will take this Perplexity Spaces SAP. We'll go into my free SEO course. This free course comes with over 160 SAPs, tutorials, and workflows, as you can see. And if you log into the free SEO course link in the comments and description, go to this category, Perplexity AI SEO, and then I'll add a lesson called Perplexity Spaces, as you can see right here. And if you want the video notes, you can get them for free right there. Again, link to the free SEO course is inside the comments. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a one-to-one -one free SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales. Feel free to book then on this free link building acceleration session. We'll give you a free SEO domination plan. You can discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You learn the best link building strategy for your website. Plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.